So the scientific name for eastern white cedar is Thuya occidentalis, and it's also known as the northern white cedar and also the tree of life. Um, it's naturally decay resistant and naturally insect resistant. Um, it has a neutral color, so it's easy to stain or paint. Um, it's also a non-toxic option for outdoor building materials, which is used heavily because it has uh, resistance to decay and insects. Uh, the eastern white cedar, uh, it cuts easily without, with minimal splitting or cracking. Um, and compared to the western red cedar, anything that you can make out of western red cedar, you can make out of eastern white cedar. Um, it's more, western red cedar is more readily available even though the eastern white cedar is native to Ontario and Canada. Um, now to lumber, um, just off of one company's website, um, there's four or more grades of eastern white cedar. So the boards can all come in uh, one by three, one by four, or one by sixes. And all three of these options either come in a, a four foot board or an eight foot board. Um, eastern white cedar is also uh, popular in house logs due to the decay resistant and insect resistant. So some of the timber products that are made from eastern white cedar include uh, decking, furniture, fencing, shingles, shim, and shim is that uh, little pieces of wood that you use to level out either a door frame or a window frame um, if the wood has bent over time. Um, it also makes shake, uh, skids, garden structures like gazebos, um, boats, canoe ribs, and they're really unique for fishnet uh, floats. And some of the indoor pro projects and products that you can make with it is paneling and molding, and also saunas for outdoor or indoor purposes. Hey everybody, we're here at Woodview Farm and Forest Products, which is in Lindsay. It's on uh, Highway 36 and Highway 7. Um, behind me we've got a nice stack of firewood. So they've got every kind of wood here, but today we're concentrating on eastern white cedar. It's one of the only places in Lindsay that actually has eastern white cedar for sale. So we've got a little stack here that they use for building purposes or for purchase, so somebody could walk in and buy them. And uh, they do have some lawn furniture here as well. Some um, chairs and picnic tables that are put away for the winter, but they are here and that's because they're such a durable piece of wood so they can actually be outside. So we've had a, quite a tour around here and we're going to take you inside and show you a couple of the products that we've found. Here we have one of the biggest pieces of white cedar that they have here. Um, it's $220 and this is actually a solid piece of wood. It's a mantle for a fireplace. As we go along here you can see the live edge of the cedar which gives it a lot of character. And with cedar, you wouldn't even have to stain it because it's uh, rot resistant and good for outdoors or indoors. Cedar smudging, it's an ancient practice and it's used by the Aboriginal peoples to this day as um, a way of banishing negative spirits, also bringing in good spirits and good vibes. Uh, people today that are not native, people like me, use it to uh, clean their apartments or their homes of negative energy. Uh, basically, you just sweep the smoke throughout your house and out the window, and the negative spirits go with it. The leaves of eastern white cedar are used for many different purposes as well. One of them is hydrosol cedar water, where uh, crude essential oil is mixed with water and other uh, medicinal items to make a water that's a, used as an insect repellent and also used for children. When they get a scrape, they spray it on and it can heal your wound. Um, the crude essential oil, which I have here, it's a huge market right now. There's people uh, fresh out of college that are making this stuff by the dozens. Um, it's used for respiratory tract infections, bacterial skin infections, cold sores, and it can even be used to uh, prevent cancer.